people where I live are not friendly, I don't have to approach them. <laughs> Hi, I'm Johnny from The Art of Charm. What I'd like to speak to you today is a commonly held thought that lots of people have upon approaching new people for the first time. The belief is that people in my town are not friendly or a variation of, of that sometimes it looks like where I live, people are not friendly, people are different. Now I can understand why you might think that. Meeting people for the first time can be difficult and it makes us nervous. What we do when we're nervous is we tend to rationalize events so that we can feel good about not having to do what we need to do. Therefore, if I make it that people where I live are not friendly, I don't have to approach them. Now, if this was true, you wouldn't have very many friends and your friends wouldn't have friends. Now, you've built a social circle for yourself. You've managed to have friends and family that live in this town and created a lifestyle for yourself that involves many people. So therefore, that commonly held belief is not true. Now, if you found it difficult for meeting people in the past, then perhaps it's because you didn't have good fundamentals. You see, proper fundamentals gives you a large window of opportunity to meet new people, whereas bad fundamentals tends to put people off. So rather than thinking that people in your town are just not friendly, let's look at it from the position that we must perfect our fundamentals in order to get better windows of opportunity. So what I'd like to do is to give you five tips and better fundamentals to give you a larger window of opportunity to meeting new people. So number one, first and foremost, your smile. Your smile is a window for other people to know how you are feeling. If you are feeling good, it will allow them to feel good. This will disarm them. You see, meeting people for the first time always carries with it a little tension and a little pressure. This puts people in a defensive position. Your smile is all you need to disarm them. Number two, your eye contact. Eye contact allows people to know that you are committed in talking with them. It allows them to give you their attention. Number three, commit to your interactions. Make it easy for people to engage with you by committing to your approach and your words. Number four is show some enthusiasm upon meeting people for the first time. Remember, you don't have to walk up to them bouncing off the walls. In fact, that might repulse some people, but showing some healthy enthusiasm will let them know that you are excited upon meeting them. It'll be easier for them to engage. And number five, use positive and negative body language to mitigate the tension and pressure that goes on to an interaction for the first time. Standing next to somebody is neutral position. Turning towards those people is adding tension and pressure. You can imagine if you give people full positive body language upon meeting them for the first time, that tension and pressure might be a bit much for them to get over. But if you commit, you turn to the side, and you engage with them in neutral body position, it'll make it much easier for them to relax and enjoy the conversation. If you want to continue to get better with your approaching, continue watching more tips from this playlist. See you guys. But I feel alive.